Here's the problem. If you look up on YouTube how to earn money online, you're gonna see a bunch of videos with a thumbnail like $100 per day or earn $300 per day. And what they're gonna do in these videos is take you through a very long sequence of garbage, such as testing games or taking surveys. All of this doesn't work. What they're going to very intelligently do is put an affiliate link for you to sign up to such garbage. And the whole time, the way they were making their $100 or $300 per day is the affiliate links that you are signing up on their behalf and add revenue from the videos, right? So what if you don't have a giant YouTube channel or you don't want to affiliate some absolute garbage, right? So what I'm going to do is not tell you how to make $100 per day starting next week. I'm going to tell you how to make $0 per day for 90 days and then very incrementally become better at an actual revenue producing business right nothing happens for so long and then everything happens at once so i'm going to show you how to do that and how to make something capable of generating what i put in the thumbnail of my video a million dollars so let's start right now all right so we're going to be doing three things here we're going to be explaining how this works giving you examples, and then explaining how to execute those examples I've given you. So we need to start with this first and how this functionally works, right? So in order to acquire money, you need to have somebody give it to you, obvious, right? So you need to offer somebody something that they value more than X amount of money. And there are three categories of things that you can sell. Make more money, become healthier, or have more of that. Hilariously enough, these actually ultimately degrade to to, have to, to this one. But what we're going to be doing is talking about the first option, this one right here, make more money. And the reason why is because this allows us to enter a different realm than what you're thinking. And that is business to business, right? What that means is you're a business selling a service to another business of which it is either going to make them more sales or decrease the amount of time they're spending in their business, right? And it's also going to be a service business. And the reason why is because you will be exchanging your time as opposed to a physical product, which requires capital and logistics, right? So you are now what is categorically referred to as a B2B service business. You sell services to other businesses, right? And there are two types of B2B service businesses that you should run, right? And you should only do these two. And I'm going to explain why. The first is a productized service business. And what a productized service business is, is it basically means you do the same thing every time for every person and performative results are not dependent on you, right? Now, a performative based agency would be a highly complex done for you service where your results are tied to performance and you get paid a lot of money to do this. And you need to pay very close attention to why this is and this spiel that i'm about to go through because it's very very important beginners should start with a productized service because it's low low complexity and low competence as necessary experts should charge a lot of money because they've proven themselves capable of delivering abnormal results right you cannot become the person capable of delivering abnormal results without reps and a productized service business will allow you to execute those reps and become capable of delivering abnormal results right you need to make a little bit of money first to eventually make a lot of money this is basically the sequence with which you will execute your business you will first start with a productized service and then over time as you become better and better and better you will transition into a performative based agency where you can make a lot of money from individual clients because you are so good at what you do but you need to get good in the first place so what we're going to do is i'm going to give you examples of productized service businesses that you can start right so tiktok style video video captioning right go look on the shorts on my youtube channel and you'll see what i mean you see how these are captioned right this video itself will probably probably be clipped in all of the captions and the editing and the cutting like people people purchase this i purchased this right and shortly towards the end of this video i'm going to show you how the person approached me and how i came to paying them right i'm going to do this for all of these examples i'm talking about now so stay to the end of the video a second example is making ad created for people. And I mean like static images or videos, right? You're not running the ads. You're just making the creatives, the actual ad itself, right? Third, ghostwriting social media posts. So you can write LinkedIn posts 
or Twitter threads for people. And again, I'm going to show how to execute these examples towards the end of the video. A design agency, unlimited design packages where you allow people to make submissions, right? YouTube video editing. So for instance, I pay I pay an editor to do all the little animations and cutting of the thumbnails and designing for this videos. On this video right now, I paid an editor, right? Now there's two types of people you could prospect for that particular business, right? There's those already running a channel, meaning your lead pool is people who are presently posting YouTube videos, right? So look for people in the business niche. You wanna look for people in that niche specifically because if somebody is in the business niche and posting on YouTube, they probably have an offer to sell. Here's, here's a hint for you. If somebody is in the business niche on YouTube, they're always selling something. I'm selling something. So you might be asking, why does everyone sell a course? Why does, every, why does everyone do this? Because there's no point to putting in all of the effort to make videos and script videos and pay someone to edit it if you're not making money from it. It literally doesn't make, there would be no reason with which why somebody would put all of this effort into production of content if there weren't a back end where they can make money from it. Now I'm not talking about just the ad revenue because you need to make, do millions and millions and millions and millions of video views to make any significant amount of money from ad revenue on YouTube. You need to sell an offer. You need to have something to sell, right? Another example is for this one is those not currently running a channel, meaning your lead pool is people in the business niche on LinkedIn or Twitter, and your angle is convincing them to use YouTube, right? I can make it extremely easy for you to post videos. I just need raw footage of screen shares with your face on it, and I'll take care of everything else. Like, basic, that's basically what I do. I'm literally just screen recording with OBS right now. I'm going to send this to my editor, and like, bam, magically, I'm going to have an edited video and thumbnail and description and, and tags and everything just delivered to me. That's what he does, right? Influencer marketing. You facilitate the purchase of influencer posts, right? By TikTok influencers and e-commerce brands. So you're selling the service to e-commerce brands, right? It is, it's, it's, you're literally just taking what the influencer would charge and upcharging that to the client for the work of facilitating the transaction. It's, you're literally a broker, right? So if you know, you know about real estate, right? There's real estate agents and there's real estate brokers and the real estate agents work under the brokerage, right? And a broker, what a real estate agent and a real estate broker do is they facilitate the transaction of a home sale, right? That's, that is literally what brokering means. It means facilitating a transaction between two people. So you are just quite literally a broker of UGC posts. UGC means user-generated content, right? Brands want user-generated content because they want to be able to run the, that UGC content as ads or posted on their own pro profile, TikTok in particular, to get organic reach and get more traffic, right? You're just being a broker of something, right? So now I'm gonna give you an example of a performative-based agency and how this would otherwise transform into a performative-based agency, right? So assume you've been running this business for 10, 12 months, right? At this point, you've been running your productized service business for about a year and all the growth of such business is completely backloaded towards the end. So you are, you're now hitting a breaking point of becoming extremely competent in the peripheral things you did not know existed before. And I'm going to give you an example of that, right? You did influencer marketing. You were facilitating the purchase of UGC influencer posts on TikTok for e-commerce brands. You've done 500 of these at this point and you've acquired a couple things now, right? First, you've noticed trends about how to make the ads work very well, like a specific sequence or formula to increase the probability of the ad doing well. Like you have just naturally figured this out by doing so much of it, right? You've acquired a bank of 300 plus creators who regularly will make posts for you, right? It means you developed a relationship with them. You know how to have an asset. You have a Rolodex of people you can purchase ads from, right? This is a very valuable asset, right? And then maybe your clients wanted to experiment with TikTok ads. So you started spending ad money for them on the TikTok ads manager in addition to the influencer post. So you now have the capability, expertise, and assets necessary to offer a performative based agency offer where you work with large brands for a lot of money. And that might look something like this, right? 
price, $10,000 per month plus 10% of revenue generated through TikTok. Deliverables, 60 posts per month, minimum ad spend, $50,000, right? This is what this looks like. And you will have generated so many results by doing this productized service for a year. You will have done, you have facilitated over 500 posts. You will have worked with 10, 20 brands. You will have made some brands an exorbitant amount of money. And because you are a productized service business, you didn't get paid a performance base. And now you've realized that you've become very extremely good at this. And you can justify doing this because you're so good at it. And there's basically nobody else on earth who is as good as you. This is how this works, right? So you make your business $1 million per month on TikTok. Congratulations, you're making $110,000 per month. Great job, right? So you can't offer this service until you know how to do it. Such is the nature of why you start with a productized service business to develop the capability, assets, and expertise in the first place. You have to do it in the exact sequence I said, right? It, it might take you longer than 12 months. It might take you less than 12 months. It just depends on the kind of person you are, how fast you learn, and just you, it depends on you, right? But you start with a productized service business where the, the absolute results aren't tied to you first. You just give deliverables and that's it, right? So your timeline is going to look something like this, right? So day zero to 30, research and stick around this video because I'm going to talk you about actually selling these just after this section, right? So your timeline is going to look like this. Day zero to 30 research, right? Watch all the YouTube videos I presently have on my channel. What do we go to my channel? Just watch all of it. I'm going to keep posting more too, right? Pick a productized service. Look up videos on that particular service and watch 30 hours. And I mean, like, if it's like video editing, then you better learn how to edit videos. Premiere Pro, all this, like, learn this, right? Go buy some $30 courses on Udemy. You have been psyoped into thinking that all courses are a scam. Every single person I know who makes an insane amount of money purchases courses and mentorships and spends more than you would otherwise think is necessary. Always. I do this all the time. I buy courses all the time. Still, right? Practice doing it for free, unprompted to the target market. And we're going to talk about that in the next section. So days 30 to 35, you're going to make a landing page on card.co. It's $19 per year. You're going to film a video of yourself on Loom with a Google Doc, exactly like I'm doing right now, explaining what your service is and why you can help them, right? And then you're going to embed a Calendly link on that page as well. That's for booking calls, right? So days 35 to 95, it's going to be outreach. Take your unprompted work and give it to the people who you did it for. Find their emails and cold email them. Follow my Twitter masterclass. I'm going to link this up above in the top right corner right now. I made a 30-minute like video of exactly how to grow on Twitter and make money on Twitter. Follow that exactly. Do exactly what I say inside of that video. I promise it's going to work. I always push that video. always link that video because it works. It's literally what I do. So your marketing strategy is doing work completely unprompted and giving it to the person. Unprompted, right? So... Real quick, if you want to scale your agency or B2B business and you want to do so by stealing our outbound marketing system using cold email, I'm going to leave a link here below this in the description, clientascension.com. We're going to give you the leads. We're going to give you the software. We're going to give you the scripts. We're going to tell you exactly what to say. And then when you get responses to those cold emails, we're going to tell you what to say to the responses, the entire sales process to help you scale your agency or B2B business to $100,000 per month. If you go to that page, there's going to be an opt-in. And after that, there's going to be a video. And below that video, you can see all the other people we've helped. We've got seven people above $100,000 a month, and we've got a whole bunch of people above 30 k a month right now. So if you want to check that out, it's clientascension.com. It's going to be in the description. Let's go straight back to the video now might be saying is, Daniel, if my marketing strategy is doing free work for people and doing it completely unprompted, that doesn't scale. So I have an extremely important spiel I will give to you right now that you need to be very close attention to, right? And is that why are you worrying about scale when you're at zero dollars? You do things that don't scale when you have zero, right? You can't scale something that doesn't exist. You don't even know anything yet, right? But you will soon. Like if you just do it, you you will figure out scale. But in the beginning, when you don't have anything, don't worry about scale. Worry about getting your first client and then your second and then your third, right? Obviously, you do things that don't scale because you don't have money. 
If you have $100,000 sitting in the bank, that's great. I could hook you up with all the most competent people for growth marketing, but you probably don't, right? If you have $0 investable capital, the only thing you have is time. So you either need money or time. So if you don't have money, get prepared to spend your time. Because that's the only resource you currently have, right? So we're going to talk about examples of execution, how to actually sell these things that we spoke about, these productized services, right? So productized service biz, number one, we talked about TikTok style video editing, like the shorts videos, right? So I purchased this because somebody who follows me on Twitter went and found a podcast I was on that was posted on YouTube. And then he sent me a video that he edited of me in the DMs and told me I could post it. So then I did, and I got a ton of engagement. He then proceeded to send me two more and ask if I wanted to be his client. I said yes. So now he's the guy who does my my videos. And he's he's that's the guy I always use now. Right? He acquired me. Right? Productized service business number two, making ad creatives for brands. So your target market is e-commerce brands or software companies, right? I saw a guy run this up to thirty thousand dollars per month in thirty days by doing this. Right? He he did it in thirty K a month in thirty days because he had already run businesses before and he has that competence. Like if you're starting from absolute zero, you're probably not gonna do it that fast, but you should do marketing like this, right? He made a giant thread. He called it 30 days of ads where he would post static images, like static image ad designs for brands and then tag the founders and the brand. And it was all done in the same thread that so that he could see they could all see all the other ads, right? He also made TikTok videos of him actively designing the ads in Figma. Super smart. Gotta get a bunch of clients in 30 days. It's insane. So, productized service business number three, ghostwriting social media posts, right? All the guys I've seen successfully do this have done it through inbound leads, right? This means the leads come to you, right? So, if you're going to get ghostwriting clients to help people grow on Twitter or LinkedIn, you need to have a lot of followers, right? You, you need to do what you're selling. So, if you're helping people get followers on Twitter, you got to find out how to grow on Twitter, right? Again, you should go watch my Twitter masterclass, right? So here's an example. Dakota Robertson, his at is wrongs to right on Twitter. He currently has 147,000 followers at the time of this filming, and he's been doing it for so long that he's basically designed a system to always be viral. And he happens to be the Twitter coach inside our coaching program, Client Ascension. But you should just follow exactly what I'm saying in my Twitter masterclass video or join Client Ascension. You can go to Dakota's weekly calls and work with me directly. Um, but... Productize service business number four, design agency. My brother did this, right? He's Elliot Alexander on Twitter. He makes nice visuals on Twitter and Instagram. People organically come to him to have him design posts for their profiles, right? Again, follow exactly what I say in the Twitter masterclass. It's how you grow on Twitter, right? He also has a big Instagram account where he posts the designs. He's got a lot of followers on there, right? He does what he sells. That's the premise. So productize service business number five, YouTube video editing. I found my YouTube editor, the guy who is editing this video, this exact video you're watching right now, because I tweeted that I was going to start YouTube. Then I get a message from the guy telling me he's an editor and he sent me links to his work. But if you don't already have work, you should follow this, right? Find people in the business niche, the business niche specifically, because people in the business niche on YouTube are trying to sell their offers on YouTube, right? That's literally why I'm on YouTube. It is to sell my offers. There is no other function for me being here. It is to make more money. It is marketing. This is how this works. It's how every single person in the business, the business niche works, all of them, right? So find people in the business niche with unedited videos on YouTube. So that means they already have videos, but they're just not good editing, right? Then go find their Twitter or Instagram or their email. And then you're going to send them a message like, hey, name, just watch your video on YouTube about X and loved what you said about Y, right? I wanted to send over a message because I think your channel could pop off with proper editing, keyword research, and thumbnails. Are you going to make more videos soon? Parentheses, I'd be happy to edit your first for free. Maybe they respond, maybe they don't. If they don't respond, follow up. If they don't respond, follow up again, follow up again, follow up again. Keep going until you get a yes or no. Like, keep following up, right? And then... When you do finally get them to post a free video that you edited, right? Come back to them after a couple of days with a bunch of video ideas you source from vidIQ, right? vidIQ is like a keyword research tool that I use for YouTube, right? It tells you like what people are searching for. 
and you come back to them. Hey, there's a bunch of people searching for this. You could easily make a video on this. You down to run another one, right? Now you're pitching your price, right? Good pricing for this is like anywhere from anywhere from like four hundred to eight hundred dollars per video. It's around there. That's what I pay. Um, productized service business number six: influencer marketing. Right? Target is e-commerce brands. Services getting them ads made by TikTok influencers. Cold email a bunch of e-commerce brands. Right? You can get their emails for something like contact e-com or store leads. I own contact e-com, so if you happen to use that, then like, cool. Um, email script like, hey, name, quick question. Are you looking for UGC ads for TikTok influencers? I can get 10 to 20 videos made for X product, right? Charge the brands anywhere from $100 to $400 per video. And you might be saying, oh, that's a lot of money. It's like, bro, listen, these brands, some of these brands are sitting here making like 100K to a million a month, 30% margin, cool, $300,000 profit per month. Like $100 to $400 per video is not a lot. Like it just isn't, right? So find UG... Find the UGC influencers that you will be facilitating the purchases through on Twitter by going into the Twitter search bar and simply typing UGC. And the reason why I'm telling you to do that is because there's a massive UGC community on Twitter where they all talk about UGC content on their TikTok pages. Like they're all over. There's like a whole UGC community on Twitter. You have to make a Twitter account. Make a Twitter account and follow me. So as I said before, you will become competent at this over time, right? You need to watch my Twitter masterclass video. You need to describe. You need to subscribe to me here on YouTube because I'm going to post a full guide on cold email. I'm going to show you how to cold email people correctly and get clients from it. Right? You need to make a Twitter account right now and follow me. Do it. Right? You need to follow the people I interact with on Twitter. This is going to entrench yourself into the community we call Money Twitter. What's like it's a, it's like a bunch of people who run actual businesses and don't spit nonsense like take surveys to make a hundred dollars per day. Right? That's it for me for this video. I'm going to leave some other ones for you to click here. Go to my channel. Go watch them. And I love you. Bye-bye.